What's up, everybody? My name is White Dragons, and welcome to the show. So, I've been busy while you've been away. We have gotten some new attachments. We've done a lot of stuff. So, uh, you went on vacation with me over there. So, uh, I grew some trees. Okay, it's pretty good. Lime tree, orange tree. That's nice. I'm just going to take a real quick glance at what we've been doing here. Uh, still empty, yes, but guess what? Let's do this first. I need to clear out my inventory. Oh my gosh, we've got a setup! And my minions. Hello, guys. Just hanging out here in the workshop. So, uh, watch this. You ready? Check it out. Don't even have to worry about doing anything. Pretty nice, huh? Ooh, gotta keep that. Get rid of that one. We'll get rid of this. Don't need this. Oh, so much stuff has been going on while you've been away. Well, let's see. Let's talk about uh, our vacation. It was pretty nice. Um, hopefully, I'll split that up. We've gotten a lot of things accomplished. Um, we have worked on getting uh, the storage system up. I need this. I need this. Don't need that anymore. Um, what else have we done? Uh, I changed my workshop around. Um, oh, if you're gonna hang Tinker's Construct stuff, don't put them on the dry racks for Tinker's Construct. I don't know why, but the regular, um, tools are disappearing. Which, I don't know. So, uh, give me just one quick quick brief moment and we'll head on down to the storage system all right guys I just decided I'd go ahead and show you exactly what we do here so this is a um, this, let me get out of this form real quick this is a tinkers not tinkers but a carpenter's trap door and down below we've got the carpenter's ladder pretty damn cool and then over here we've got lots of stuff going on. Lots and lots of stuff. I'm trying to figure out why those tree thingies are coming in here. They shouldn't be. Hmm. Gotta check on that. But we did run energy pipe, redstone pipe here. Or leadstone, sorry. Leadstone pipe. And we did go ahead and put some leadstone energy cells in. Anytime you have a junction point, it's probably wise to do that. Uh, cool, very cool inverted yellow cage lights. Um, and we made ourselves an item system pipe, which basically that's a junction. Um, and I will probably try to put the link down below the guy that we that I got the idea from. But this is the kitchen again. And guess what? Another uh, uh, what do you call them? A carpenter's carpenter's trap door right there. If we were to break all this down, you would find that there's a hole back there for the redstone furnace, which has an energy cell underneath it, but you can see it's running. And then, of course, if we needed to call something, like let's say uh, we're in the kitchen and we want one piece of pork. Okay, so we would submit. All right, you ready? This is the coolest stuff ever. Tinker's Construct works really good with a lot of stuff. It takes a few minutes. And eat. There we go. Oops. Oh. Did I eat it? I must have ate. Huh, okay. I grabbed it and ate it. Awesome. Okay, but yeah. Uh, you can actually put the router request pipe inside the Tinker's Construct crafting bench. And if you want to get crazy, you can put a, well, you can put a uh, regular chest beside it. Okay regular chest beside it and the chest you can see this is any chest so it's pretty cool all right so uh yeah let's go down and find out what the hell's going on this tree uh saplings um i tried to do everything where i don't have to go outside uh this is from actually from the rubber trees it turns into jungle i thought that was pretty cool not a lot of people love jungle wood I like jungle wood. Alright, so this is the uh, 
leave it and forget it. Um, power build. Uh, I left this area open so I could put more uh, steam dynamos if I need to. And uh, what happens basically is this is set up so that when uh, this, when we run out of, especially say this, there's a signal that connects to this uh, compact, which connects to this one, which is in the chest. Okay, so when it sends out a signal, this sends out a signal to this one, I believe. It basically, no, 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 I'm sorry. This will send out a signal, which will cut this off. And when this one is full, this one will turn on because, oh, you can't see it. It has something in it. And each time it... Really? It's really loud. Come on. Come on, get through it. Sit back here, let it go. For a minute so you can see just how cool this is. Now we're using the Mine Factory Reloader um, and this one is Thermal Expansion and of course the Hoppers. Uh, you can use uh, lockers, you just have to use the back side, the top or the bottom, you can't use it the front. Uh, so basically what happens is this will emanate, em emanate. this will, t will give a signal off when there is nothing inside of it. It will give off a it will give a signal off, which will short this out. Okay, that's why you see no power. This will short out, and this will stop it from overexerting the system. I've got an advanced item collector because there's a lot of stuff out here that it doesn't pick up. See, like these apples. Jesus! It's always going, by the way. Always going. Um. Uh, stuff in there but it the uh, harvester here is from minecraft reloaded and the energy leadstone energy cells are from thermal expansion of course but what's gonna happen is the harvester will spit the stuff in the chest okay and I have the, uh, the dynamo installed which only allows this oak wood to go into this furnace then from this furnace from this furnace it'll cook go into charcoal and come out here now if we run out of it at any time this will fill up first and then we'll go on now the problem I have is when you don't need it at all what do you what the hell are you supposed to do with charcoal you know it's still gonna run no matter what now there's other builds out there that, that show you how to make it stop and things like that but from my little compacted area I didn't have a lot of room I'll show you down below real soon Anyways, so what I did was is I put this chest here in the middle. So it's going to make the charcoal. It's going to run. It's going to go through here, checking each pipe to make sure that there's 64 in each of them. And when there's then they can't do anything else, they're going to come back through here and just rinse and repeat. Pretty nifty. Um, you do need redstone uh well, you, you just you need a redstone signal for these guys right here, the item ducks, uh, to turn them on. If you don't have them on, it doesn't work. All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty. So, how does this work exactly? Well, we got an aqueous accumulator sitting down here, keeping the water full. Okay. Now, because this redstone. Um, Hmm. Okay. Oh, this is not going to turn out too well. Because this redstone is here, redstone torch, I turned it off. I turned it off to ignore. Because if you don't, watch what happens. See? It's going down. I turn it off and disable it. It'll keep it up. Alright, so. We got that settled out of the way. Let's go over here. And drop. Come around. This is the planter from my factory reloaded. And I do apologize if it's a little loud. This thing is always going. So my first initial thought was, oh wow, we'll put oak saplings in here and we'll always have oak saplings. Tell you what, let me pause this. Oof, okay. 
Good lord. Alright. So, with that being said, I always thought, okay, oak saplings would be, you know, this is what everybody uses as oak saplings, but I thought, what if I put a rubber sap sapling in there? Because I really need rubber, uh, rubber for a lot of different stuff to make, a, a both the rubber wood, the plastic, all kinds of different stuff. So I was like, what if I put a rubber sapling in there? What would happen? Now, grant you, I had to put a servo in here and put rubber saplings and oak saplings in. And then over here, I put in the diagram that I wanted the rubber sapling right in the middle. So it's going to be the very last thing that grows. Now, this is fertilized dirt from the random things. It's a very easy to do, a very easy to uh, to make. So, yes, definitely for sure. Um, we don't have any items come through here or what? I needed to slow down the item intake, which I think I'm gonna go to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go bat. Yeah, let's go bat real quick. All right, um, because I needed a way to connect connect up the you know what I should have done though I know I'm thinking about it I could have easily ran a item pipe item duct through there instead of using the thermal expansion that may eliminate a lot of my problems I'll have to fix that later uh, so um, but you have your energy cells here uh, the one thing I've learned is I've kept about two or three energy cells on the dynamos and it works out really really well because it holds a lot of energy and if these things ever shut down which they should never shut down um, you'll always have these here or if you need a charge so loud so freaking loud anyways oh this is a good opportunity alright so show you real quick alright so the saplings are going inside there right okay and the wood is going up top but no apples sad day sad pony face sad pony face anyways up oh, there we go see the apple okay so the apple because there's water right there I had to go underneath and come over the apple is going to follow this item duct right it's gonna follow this item duct and it's going to go up here. And yes, I know there's still a whole bunch of raw ores I need to pick up, but this is a little bit more important. And it's going to go in this chest. Now, I had some extra chests, so that's the reason why. Okay, so it's going to go up here, and then it's going to go into that huge room that we were just in with all the chests. And we're going to run over there real quick. We can do that. Uh, but if you are using this system, do keep in mind that the advanced item collector is a very awesome thing to have because it does pick up the excess waste that you have. So keep that in mind. Alright. Yeah, we still have spiders that know where we're at, unfortunately. Alright, so let's see. The best way to get there is in this room, right? Yeah. Alright, so... Uh, and here's what I'm probably going to wind up changing is this right here because this was really a wasted material. I should be using these from that Project uh, Redstone or Project Red Transportation. Take these out because I have a chest down there and these, these two don't connect as you can see. But they do connect to a chest. So if I connect one in with this one and one in with the other one it should run out well now these do run faster okay these are faster these are a little slower depending on what you upgrade but this is a really a lot of material these aren't really material heavy as you can see we've been extremely busy oh there's my battle axe hello battle axe actually I'm gonna keep you in there you're safe um, and now any uh like the here's raw rubber right here um I, any rubber that comes off that one rubber tree that's being you know fertilized and grown and harvested is instantly brought this way so that way i don't have to go hunting for it um we did pick up a witch's hand i think i'll show that in a video somewhere um 
Yeah, so this is pretty much set up so that it can reach basically to this one right here, underneath this one. Then after that, I have to start looking at it, maybe doing uh, deep storage systems or something like that. But for now, this will do. Uh, we still have a lot of copper, so I'm not really worried about that. But uh, the reason why I'm able to throw stuff and, again, throw stuff on the ground is because the advanced item collector here. It'll just instantly go in this chest. Now, let's say for example, um, I think in one of the videos that I watched, they talked about an overflow chest. Uh, you need the overflow chest no matter what before you even think of, you know, going all the way. You know, you don't have to worry about it because you've got like 9,000 chests. Sorry, I was itching my uh, my arm. Um, get an overflow chest. Even if you can't open it, uh, like this one right here sitting directly under the under the uh, floor. Uh, the overflow chest will basically hold the item and keep the item from um, clogging up the system. Because if you don't, it just bounces. It bounces everywhere, totally screwing with your um, with your other items. Because you want to try to get done as quick as possible. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, these guys are not hard to make. But the dyes are actually the hardest to make. So, uh, Travel Craft. I'm go I've been going back there getting flowers and stuff. So that's the reason why we've been able to keep a lot of stuff. But this is a very cool item. Um, these are Biblio display cases. Uh, in order to get to them, you need an open hand and go shift shift and right click on them and they open up and then you just right click to put the item in shift and oh, oh no this is the one problem I have anytime something falls out of something it goes directly into here so I just gotta kinda wait a second if we type in sword see it's not there yet but if we repull there it is repull is basically a refresh button and submit so we'll get that back here shortly in just a second um there we go oops now we'll probably wind up moving this whole setup into a a uh tinker's construct chest or tinker's construct uh thing there but uh, we'll wait on that one let's try this again hold shift right no nope. no there we go. Perfect. Uh, up top is a. Uh, can I see it? No. Let me go outside. Shut up, zombie! I don't know how you're living. But this is a. Get close enough. Advanced genetics healing crystal. Very easy to make. One diamond, four emeralds. This thing will literally heal you. Where's that zombie at? Speaking of which, where he is? Zombie? Hello? Zombie? 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 It's not. He's somewhere. Oh, I hear him walking. I heard you. I don't know where you're at. I'll just do this. I'll show you. I'll intentionally hurt myself. Oh God, I almost died. Look at that. Boom. Instant heal. 